Hey, I'm Lorraine Grillo with VideoProductionTips.com. Thanks for joining us. Today's tip is about keyframe animation. Keyframe animation is an advanced video editing technique that allows you to do many different things, like make your video change size, rotate, or move across the screen like this. Virtually any aspect of your video that can be altered can be keyframed. Keyframe animation is very simple to do if you have a program that will allow you to do it. The simpler programs like Windows Movie Maker or iMovie and even Sony Movie Studio will not let you do keyframe animation, but a program like Final Cut will. I'm going to demonstrate keyframe animation in Final Cut Express. Your first step is to select a shot in your timeline that you want to animate. Then, put your cursor on the exact frame where you want the effect to start. Then, add your keyframe to that frame. You do that in Final Cut by clicking this keyframe icon. Notice that the wireframe of your shot goes from white to green once the keyframe is added. Then, put your cursor on the exact frame where you want the effect to stop. Add a keyframe to that frame. Once again, the wireframe turns to green to indicate that the keyframe has been placed properly. Then, go into your shot and change the values at the keyframe points you just set. Let's say you want your video to get bigger. At the first keyframe, put in the size you want to start with. Then, go to the second keyframe and put in the larger size. That's all there is to it. The computer does the rest. When you render the shot, the computer will make the shot grow to whatever specifications you set. Think of it this way. Keyframe animation is like moving from point A to point B. You set the points, then type in whatever values you want those points to display. Render your shot, and there you have it. You can get more complex with keyframes by putting in more than two points. Often, the computer will place the extra points for you. For example, if you want your video to move in a circle, you start by putting in two points, then taking your keyframe pathway and dragging it like this. The computer adds multiple keyframes along that circular path. The biggest difficulty in doing keyframes comes when you change your mind about what path you want. When you change paths, you often end up with a mess and have to erase all the keyframes you have already set and start all over. Because of this, it's very helpful to make a firm decision the first time. Once you get some practice with keyframing, you will wonder how you ever got along without it. That's all for this video production tip. As always, drop me an email at videoproductiontips at gmail.com and let me know what video tips you'd like for me to cover. Thanks for watching. I'm Lorraine Grula.